What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. I have seriously the coolest ideas for today. Today's gonna be freaking rad. Yesterday took the tent off the Tacoma. It looks weird in my opinion. Uh, it just looks so different, but it probably drives better. But I'm not gonna find out today because I wanna drive something else. It's another wet day in Western Washington and of course it's just been raining all week and we actually have more flooding. A couple weeks ago I drove the truck across this flooded out road. According to the internet, that road is flooded again. I've already taken my truck through it. It was super fun. I want to see if we can take the Pro XP4 through it. So Tyler and I are going to meet up on either side of this river that's running through the streets. We're going to drive the Pro XP right through it as we head to Tyler's house to work on the Can-Am X3 XRS. Well, what's up guys? Made it out and met up with uh, Tyler from TS Gear. You gotta check, <laughs> they already know. When I drove my truck through here, it was much deeper. I was expecting it to like be, I don't know, like up to here on the side by side, but it really wasn't, it wasn't all that exciting. If you put epic music to it, it everything is more exciting. Mm -hmm. Epic music, some slow motion mm -hmm. shots. Some metal. sideways right at that log. I know. I clipped it. Yeah. And then the second one across, I started going right. I don't know how deep that ditch is there. But uh, I think they're pretty deep. I don't know though. That's pretty crazy. It stays right on top of the water for a while. Yeah, I saw that. But I your, got that. your back end starts coming out. Yeah. They yeah, don't wreck this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, shit, hopefully he doesn't go off the side. All right. I'm going to do a little whip around here. Right. And... I'll, I'll have it handheld this time because I... Try to dry that off real quick. All right, let's see if I can do a whipper. whipper.
you got me. I got you good. I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right. oh. I just was coming out to do some filming for you and uh <laughs> Oh I'm sorry. Oh you're fine. That was good. The back end dipped into that drop off. Yeah, right? I saw like, that. Whoa. Yeah. I got it that time. That was some good sketchy riding. <laughs> All right, well, uh, wading through it slowly like I had planned on doing just wasn't quite captivating enough, I guess. <laughs> no, it wasn't. When that road first flooded, the first thought in my mind was, I wonder if I could skim it all the way across. And it turned out it was a little lengthy to skim the entire distance because by the time, I mean, it stayed up on top. Oh, for a long like, time. Tyler got pretty scared. And I he, did. He dipped the camera. I did. I'm Never sorry. dipped the camera. I'm sorry. I it's should not... have sacrificed my body for. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, I wasn't coming at. Oh, you thought I was coming at you. You were. You were fish tailed sideways. This <laughs> were aiming towards you. I was like, uh, dude. All right. But yeah, no. I'm sorry so... to the audience. I apologize. Yeah, he, he's new. <laughs> <laughs> There's a ditch off of one side, ditch off the other side, and then a bunch of telephone poles. So it got super freaky. I think you could have done that distance if you're wide out, like if you had more space. Yeah, it's got the power. And it was. Yeah, that was in four-wheel drive. I tried it in two and it actually still felt pretty good um, So geez crazy She's a little bit cleaner. It's like a pressure washing. Yeah, just a good pressure washing and that that tire looks like it's tilted It freaked me out, but it's just up on that. That's just normal That's just normal. Just normal. Just, stuff. just normal stuff So what do we do next? What do you think? I don't know. Should we go get some coffee or we could, we could definitely you're soaked now though You're gonna be freezing the rest of the way probably. That's not too bad. We could go, yeah, you think it's just that, that one coffee stand over yeah, there? Yeah, we put Those, they're park cool, somewhere. Right? They're not gonna oh, yeah, they'll be cool. So you'll just park somewhere and then hop in? Yeah. And we'll just go get coffee? Yeah. I'll, right. I'll get soaked some more. Yeah. Because the seats are soaked. The seats are wet. But should have brought rain gear. All right, we can do that. All right. Following rules of the road for the most part. I'm gonna get a, an Americano of some kind. Ooh, with heavy cream. Yep. 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 It's a real nice day. It's lovely. Uh, I'm getting a lot of spray off the tires. <laughs> yeah. Lovely day for a drive. Uh, Clear right. Uh, left blinker. <laughs> <laughs> left blinker. Good job. Good job. Obeying the laws. Abiding by the rules of the road. At all times. I'm pretty sure there was like something that was passed a while ago where you could take. Oh, it was. It was. It... Oh, there's the sheriff Get over here. Let's see if he just wait till he goes that way. Where's the sheriff? He's straight ahead. You see him? Yeah, he's driving away. You got some kind of eagle vision? I don't have. Yep, he's in the. He's at the stoplight. What's that? Oh no, sir. We're just going to get. Not coffee. us. We're just going to get coffee. <laughs> So nice out. We just <laughs> 30 degrees. Oh, it's it's fine. It's it's nice, really. It's real cozy in here. You got like little heater things down there? No, no I wish we did. <laughs> wow. That's why we're we here all... for some hot coffee. Yeah. 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 Uh I'll do oh. a some sort of I'll do a nutty Irishman Americano with cream. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I love that. I yeah. know. You bought it for me once. I, it's yeah. very sweet. Um what size? Oh. Uh 20. Four shots. Four. Four shots. You want cream? Yes, please. Okay. Let's see. And I will do a. What's a venti? 20, right? It's a 20. Did this vent? What are you, a Starbucks? Starbucks 24? Oh, that's, that's, I'll do a 24 ounce. I'll do a large um, Americano with like four shots. It's cold and it's freezing cold. <laughs> I can't wait for that coffee though. No straws. No straws. No sleeves, probably either. We'll use the heat of the cup. Yes. Woo! Thank you. 
God, your hands are cold. Which one's? This is yours. Ooh, that's nice. There you yeah. go. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks. you. Thank Thanks you for tolerating us. You we'll, guys be safe. We'll see you later. Always. driving next to a jeep and i was like they're almost the same size dude this thing's huge they're massive they're they're real big there's a reason i got such a big coffee because 30 percent of it is in the cup holder over there <laughs> i was gonna say as soon as you hit that uh bump just bouncing all over the place ah oh, they make good coffee that was real good all right well we're gonna work on the can am a little bit today uh last we left off the motor's in place, the rear deck was on, the intercooler was in, the suspension components in the rear were on, the roof was on. Holy crap, yeah, we got a lot of stuff done. I apologize for the rain on the lens. I keep wiping it off, I, I can't. It's Washington, welcome. We figured out how we are trailering both side-by-sides to the dunes. Yeah. Uh, we're just gonna hook that gooseneck to my Tacoma. Yeah, <laughs> just run it. <laughs> hey, that's April, right? April. Maybe I'll have a new truck by then. You might. Oh, it's red now. That's dope. That looks real good. And then the monkey tails have changed to red, although the red yeah. is kind of funky. It's like a brick red. Yeah, apparently that's the same red. I was going to order one of these. But it's, it's red, nonetheless. It is red. And so is your little, uh, your notch. Mm hmm. There. My D loop. Real nice. Freaking cool. Dang. Freaking all American. It's the flag in the background. Mm hmm. America. America, you know. So the wife's been shooting hers? I uh, know. <laughs> no. Uh, so, Not she will. Go. She will. <laughs> she will. Well, there she is, guys. It's getting there, but it still seems so overwhelming. Every time we look at it, it's like, ah! We finally got this rib nut tool. The frame has these little, it's got these little holes here, um, and plastics mount to that. We have to set rib nuts in there, so we bought a tool. Amazon special. Yep. 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 Uh, so I think these are going to be slightly different than the ones that were in it from the factory, but we couldn't find. Yeah, they're not the hexagonal, so but we got to worry about them spinning. So we got all these different size rib nuts. So we got to figure out what size we need. I think M6. it's an M6. I think we decided. So. Uh, real nice. I like it. TS gear approved. Yep. Feels good in the hand. Feels good <laughs> in the hand. Uh, <laughs> So I guess the, the idea is it's got a nice ergonomic grip to it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there. So you thread, oh well, I guess you need the right M6 deal. Ugh. Okay. Something like so yeah, see these have a, just a round shaft. The other ones had hexagonal shafts. But these fit right in there, they just drop in. And then the tool's gonna crimp it up. And I think that'll work fine. It just holds plastic for the most part. There's nothing that's like, needs to be, I don't know, structural, I guess, is the only word that comes to mind. But it's mainly just plastics that need to be tapped right into the frame. So much to do. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm afraid. Did you see what they put on here? So I just I just noticed your package that you got from Side by Side uh, blog. <laughs> they addressed it to Maxident Pal. Maxident Pal. <laughs> Very funny guys. All right, all right. They actually just crashed two of their demos. Oh, good. Uh, so you know what? So it's not just me. You know what? It's just it's the lifestyle. It's the life. It's the lifestyle of the young and the reckless and the the heavy the heavy footed individuals like ourselves. I thought you were going to wreck today. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I mean, I kind of did. I clipped that log pretty yeah. pretty hard. Yeah. Alignment's off. Who so, did, did that fit? Yeah, it no. fits right in there. Yep. Yep, I think it's going to work. You want to test one? Well, we need to... Plug her in? Yeah. Slap yeah. her home? Yep. Well, hey, shout out to SideBySideBlog.com for programming my ECU and helping out with upgrading the turbo, uh, well, upgrading just the horsepower on this thing. Um, SideBySideBlog.com and Evolution Power Sports really came through on this build. 
because they're going to take it from the measly 154 horsepower to somewhere right around 200 which is going to be really nice in this little small car i should be it's gonna be real nice that's a good one good one all right let's slap her home so this is the tool we've been waiting on this tool we can't proceed we cannot proceed without this little deal so you thread you thread it on there i did yeah all right you find a home for it this is a already a clearance issue here clearance it's tight oh no okay so you got to make sure it's like all the way down and it is, I think. It should pull itself in anyway, it's so. pretty good. All right, here we go. Uh-huh. I'm pulling. Squeeze. Squeeze. Okay. Squeeze it good. Yes, okay. don't over squeeze it now. Don't over squeeze it. Yeah, it looks right, man. That looks pretty good. That's not moving. Seem good? Yeah. Oh, you know what we probably should have done? Let's make sure the bolts go in to that before we just permanently place it there. I mean, <laughs> we'll just get a different bolt. Uh, yeah, so what... what's true. We kind of just went off of what that guy said. What bolt goes there? <laughs> well, let's go to the bolt bin. To the bolt bin. <coughs> Is it in there? Yeah. Oh, and it's really in there, huh? Yeah. Oh, you need a tool for that, mamma jamma. Look how different they look. See, there's like a little hexagon. We couldn't find those anywhere. No. We searched high and low, far and wide. Uh, we found something similar on Granger, but... It wasn't clear on not quite yeah. what we needed. Cool. We got one more tool to check out. What do we got here, Tyler? Well, I ordered this from Home Depot. From the Home Depot. Oh, look at that beautiful oh, red. Course. It is, Milwaukee. Look at it. It would be. It's yeah. beautiful red. You know, because you, everyone needs an automatic rigger. Well, yeah, <laughs> I think so. Ready? Ready. Send your hand. Whoa. That was pretty cool. Done. That's Look how nice. pretty that is. Ooh, she is pretty. As much progress on the Can-Am today as we normally do. We normally are like really, really productive, but we hit a bunch of little roadblocks and uh, in fact decided we're gonna buy a few more gussets so that this thing is safer. Now that we had to take that one gusset out, there's a different style that we can put in that'll work with our bulkhead and that'll just protect the front end. And while we're at it, we're gonna try to just see what other gussets are available online. Um, but we did do that sweet hydro skim. We got coffee. That was a good day. All in all, I got lots to do tomorrow. So I'm gonna take off. It's gonna be a cold, dark, and wet, miserable ride home. But <laughs> you got, you've got like 20 some odd minutes. Yes, <laughs> just night. in the freezing cold. Ooh. 30 degrees, rain, and snow. Lucky.